For practice it, exercise 2.8 spaces of numbers. We need to write nested for loops to produce the following output. First, we can notice that we have multiple lines of code. We have one, two, three, four, five lines of code. So we'll have int a, also that equal to one, and that's gonna run as long as a is less than or equal to five. And we're just gonna increment a every single time this loop runs. Inside of this loop, you're going to have another for loop that outputs the amount of spaces here. We're going to have four, and then we're going to say b, and we'll say equal to zero. And then we need to see how many spaces we start out with. We have one, two, three, four spaces. So we need b to run um, less than or equal to a. So as long as b, or I'm sorry, as long as b is greater than or equal to a, it's going to run. And instead of starting b at zero, we're going to start b at four. So it can output four spaces and continue to run. Then we're going to decrement b every single time this loop runs. So we'll have b minus minus in here like this. And so this can be a little bit confusing, but basically what this is saying is our outside for loop is going to run five times so we can get so we can output these lines five times and then this next for loop it's can it's it's looking at the spaces in here so the first time it runs it's going to output four spaces and then the next time it runs since a is one greater it's going to output one less space so then it's going to just output these spaces and then just continue to go on next we're going to have a system dot out Dot print in here and we will have a two parentheses with a space in the middle that way we can give our spacing and then after this we'll have another for loop and we can say that this for loop is for spacing and this is for number output and inside of this for loop we'll have int c and that is going to be equal to zero and we're going to run this as long as c is less than a. And we will just increment c every single time this loop runs. And in here, we need a system.out statement for our number. So system.out.print this. And then inside of here, we are just going to output a. And we can see that the first time this runs, a is equal to 1. So we're just going to print a out one time since c is 0, and then once we increment this loop again, c is going to equal to 1, so it can't output again. Next, when a is equal to 2, this is going to output 2 twice. That looks good. And then after this, we can say for next line, and all we're going to do here is have a system.out.print line that gives us a new line. If we submit it, we have passed the test. So that means this is the correct code that will produce this output.